Welcome everyone. This is Eileen from basicblogtips.com and this is your introduction to social media conversion tracking in Google Analytics. First, you have to think about what are your goals? You can have multiple goals for your site, but until you define your goals, you will be lost. In order for you to take advantage of the new social impact tracking reports in Google Analytics, you must first set up your goals. Otherwise, you will see a notice here that tells you that you don't have any goals defined and you're unable to measure the value of social referrals on your site. Set up your goals in Google Analytics and your social value report can look like this. And this. First of all, there's four types of goals in Google Analytics. The number of pages visited, the length of time spent, the destination URL, and the event. Simply go into your Google Analytics account, click on the admin button, and click on the goals button. A simple goal that everyone should set up is for the number of pages visited on their blog. Give your goal a name and pick a number. Let's start off with two. So you would say greater than two. If you want, you can assign an arbitrary value to that goal. You can also track how long people are staying on your blog. Give that goal a name, click the visits duration, and then enter the time. For the URL goals, there's three different types, exact match, head match, or regular expression match. Once you have your goals set up in Google Analytics, you can see which social networks are bringing your site quality traffic and bringing you the highest ROI. Now let's continue on to part two. Google Analytics is your new listening tool for social media ROI. And they've integrated data from Social Data Hub Partners where you can analyze off-site interactions with your data. The first steps. If you're running a WordPress blog, you should install the Yoast Google Analytics plugin. Install your social sharing plugins. Create and share high value content. Set conversion goals in Google Analytics. You can get some really detailed information on this by watching a workshop for Google Analytics that was hosted by Chris Lang over on his Hangouts on Google Air. And on that panel, along with us, was Courtney Engel and Dottie Scott. So that is a really powerful workshop that will give you details about how to set up the social sharing plugins along with the exact setup instructions for the Yoast Google Analytics plugin. Now, once you have all your goals set in place, you're going to go to the traffic sources, social and overview. And that's where you're going to begin to see the tracking data coming in from the social networks. Click on the activity stream. This is where the magic happens. You're going to be able to listen to what's being said about you and your content on Google+. Now, sometimes you are already aware of this because the person has tagged you or at mentioned you when they 
posted or shared your content. But many times you're going to discover brand new users that you've never seen before. And these would be your evangelists. You want to create a Google plus circle for these people and put them in a circle that's called evangelists. That way you can keep track of who's out there advocating for you. You're also going to find out who's bookmarking your content. And these examples, I saw people that were bookmarking or giving my posts thumbs up and dig and Digo and get pocket, which was formerly read it later and delicious. And the real impact on this is that you'll be able to track your conversions. You'll be able to look at all your traffic coming from Facebook, see how long they're staying, how many pages they're visiting. If they went to a URL you wanted them to go to, and you'll see the same data for Twitter and blogger and all of the other social networks. That way you can assess if you're spending time in the right places. You'll also be able to see the social plugins report that'll tell you what the action was. If they shared, if they plus one, if they followed you. And last but not least, you'll be able to look at your social visitors flow. This way you can see just what pages they're going to on your site from a given social network. Well, thanks so much for joining me today. Make sure you stop over to the blog, basicblogtips.com and sign up for your free blogging tips. Just put your name and email address in this box and you'll be updated with all the blogging, social media, and YouTube video tutorials. You guys have a great day. Talk to you soon.